Hey guys, you are working your entire body with this one using the rowing machine and hand release push ups. Gonna start off on the rower with 1,000 meters and 20 hand release push ups. Each time you're gonna decrease the distance on the rower by 250 meters and increase the reps on the push ups by 10. Do not underestimate this one, it is a killer. Here we go, 1,000 meter row to start off with. If you've never been on a rowing machine, I'm going, going to include a couple of links down in the description box to uh, for you to click on to familiarize yourself with this piece of equipment. If, if you've never been on one, you have no idea what you're missing out on. You're working seven, eight different muscles at a time here with just, in just a couple of seconds, you're working quads, hamstrings, glutes, shoulders, traps, lats, abs, and lower back. So you can imagine <clears throat> how taxing this machine can be when you're working that many muscles at a time. That's why this is one of my favorite pieces of um, cardio equipment in the gym. So much better than the treadmill, in my opinion, better than the elliptical. You, you don't work that many muscles on any other piece of equipment. So, go down below in the description box, click on the links, and uh, learn how to use this awesome piece of equipment. <clears throat> so after this thousand meter row, as if the rowing part was not difficult enough, we're adding push-ups. So a thousand meter row, 20 hand release push-ups back on the rower every time you're going to decrease the distance on the rower by 250 meters and increase the reps on the push-ups by 10. So by the time you get to the end of this workout, you're already just wishing it was over and the very last thing you have to do is 50 push-ups. It's awful. And I should be getting close to the end of this thousand meter row. And we're gonna come off and I think I have forgotten that they were hand release push ups for, for my first 10 push ups or so. So I was doing a regular chest to the floor push ups. And the reason why we're doing hand release push-ups on this one, not that this is like the way you should do push-ups all the time, but just for the purposes of this workout, this is an <clears throat> not only a full body blaster, but this is a very taxing workout on the upper body. And what these hand release push-ups do is it forces you to go through the full, the entire range of motion on the push-up. All right, back on the rower. This time is 750 meters. And we're gonna watch on this set right here. All right, most of the power on the rowing comes from your legs. Looks kind of deceiving because it seems like, well, before I started, before I ever got on the rower, I thought it was in just an exclusive all upper body workout, but it is most definitely not. Uh, about 7, 60 to 70 percent of the power comes from your legs. So on this push off, that's where most of the power is coming from. And you can see that I am not pulling on that handle until my legs are fully extended. Extend, pull, extend, pull. There we go. And then you've got the screen right in front of you. And that screen gives you all kinds of information. I, for, this, for this workout, I was just paying attention to my strokes per minute. I was trying to keep it somewhere between 28 and 30 strokes per minute. And um, by all means, if there are any professional rowers out there watching this video, I know it's, kind of, I know it's sped up. But for the most part, I think my form looks pretty good. I may be rounding my shoulders just a little bit right there. So if you have any critiquing of my form, please drop me some comments below. But anyway, back to the screen. 
you can uh, you can change that screen to display all kinds of information but like I said I was just paying I was just trying to keep my stroke per minute up to a certain certain number that's that's how I knew that's how I knew where my effort was but you can have it display drag factor you can even race the little boat on there um, all, all kinds of information so click on one of the links below and uh, give you a better explanation of what all this rower can do for you <clears throat> okay <laughs> you can see the look on my face I am seriously dreading these push-ups and I think I'm up to 30 push-ups here and I have already gone to the modified position I'm on my knees and that's okay because by the time you've rode almost 2,000 meters and okay yeah so I'm taking lots of breaks here my arms were tired from yesterday's workout too so all right back on the rower this one is 500 meters this time By the time you get there with this 500 meters, you have 40 push-ups to look forward to. And back on the roller for 250 meters. The last one. And last but not least, you have the last set of push-ups. And it is the most brutal of all. It's 50 push-ups. So in, if you didn't count, that's 140 push-ups. Brutal. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys, and uh, we'll see you. We'll see you again on Monday.